Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode we were exploring the area and uh, let's continue exploring. Here we're gonna find a few Pokemon we haven't caught for our decks yet. Also, Amphi evolved in the last episode. Tinka Tink! Such an adorable look looking Pokemon. Two, three, click. We well, should probably put some of those Pokemon away. The Pokemon pounds its iron scraps together to make a hammer. It will remake the hammer again and again until it's satisfied with the result. Actually, I'll leave you in because I want to evolve you because your evolution is actually really hard to find. So I want to open my Pokedex because I want to show off something. If you go to your Pokedex and press X, you have a reward system. For every entry you enter, you build up two various rewards that will be given to you. So we've got some Great Balls, Thunderstone, Ultras. Uh, two away from uh, experience candy. Ooh, nice prowl size. Give you one more shock. Now throw the ball. Two, three, gotcha. They are said they are found in ancient tombs. The patterns on their backs are said to be imbued with mysterious power. Embedded, not imbued. Here we go. Ooh, gimme ghoul, give gimme give your coin. Get nightshade, not a bad move. Um, at least it's not bad in the early game. In the late game, it absolutely sucks because basically Nightshade's damage is, is fixed. The damage you deal is based on the level of the user. So it can be useful in early games when Pokemon have low HP, but when you start getting to uh, HP pools above 100, it's practically useful, useless. But you want to check these signs. The Grand Olive Orchard, one of the 10 sites of Paldea. Once you approach one of these signs and read it, you can be able to travel here as a fast travel point. Um, so yeah, look out for those signs that show the 10 sites of Paldea and you will have an additional fast travel point. They can use to help traverse the region and also get uh, help you get to locations where you can find certain Pokemon a lot easier. Uh, another key note, you'll see him holding his Pokeball out like he wants to fight. Uh, you will know if you fought a trainer if the Pokeball is glowing. If it's not glowing, that means you fought the trainer. If the Pokeball is still glowing, that means you haven't fought the trainer yet. Ooh, a Psychic Smallip. I might do this because I can get this raid over and like... Five seconds at the start of it. Who has a dark type move that can easily destroy? Although it's probably low level enough that it will die in one hit.
go. Bite. And we got the small end. Bad hole. Uh, right, I've already read it. It's Dex entry. At least the neat thing I do like that it shows you the Dex entry again. So when you catch your Pokemon, you can reread it. Not that it's good reading the entry if you caught like a Pokemon of a different form. Because I usually most Pokemon for most Pokemon usually each form is its own entry. This can also sometimes include the gender of the Pokemon if the form of the Pokemon is drastically different because of the gender. Give the path a shock. Two, three. No, thank you. If it inflates to sing a lullaby, it can perform longer and and cause sure drowsiness in its audience. In, in its audience, audience. <laughs> I brought some delicious cake from past. Pass scissorine in soap berry. Let's celebrate with a battle. By Dave, the office worker. Ooh, okay, I want to switch out for Dora. A magical leaf. The cake makes me so happy I don't even mind losing. Katie, who runs the pa the Pasterium Soberry, is the best passer around. She even, she's even a gym leader. So we're not gonna go into town just quite yet. We're gonna go down this way and see what trainers and Pokemon we can find in this direction. Ooh, I spy an item. Uh, you're gonna find a Vespaquin here? Do not take it on, because I believe it's like level 30 or something. Yeah, level 27. Um... I don't feel confident about fighting it, and we're not at a high enough level where we can easily capture it. I'm so curious about Team Star. You go to the academy, right? Do you know about Team Star? Challenge by Angel. 
He's gonna start with a Psyduck. And if he can easily take care of that. Mud Bray, I would want Dora for this. I hit it with a magical leaf. it again thanks mischief uh yeah we'll yeah we'll switch back to ampy Might need to give him a heal after an attack, but he should be able to handle it. Ooh, yeah, he desperately needs to get the heal. At least he got the static off. Ba 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 ba, super potion. Nice, and the paralysis kicked in, so we couldn't uh, attack that turn. One more thunder. I was so busy thinking about Team Star, I lost. I heard Team Star builds bases and claims whole little zones for themselves. Alright, let's go and get this item over here and then we'll go check down there. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. Da, da, da. Going down here, I believe there should be a trainer down at the bottom of this path. Hey, are are we schoolmates? You got you go to the academy too, right? Let's pull our knowledge and trade tips after we battle. By Carlos. We hit by water. Stackle again. How do you know so much more than me when we're taking the same classes? Across the river you'll find the Southern Province Area 4. It's got stronger Pokemon than here. 
Hello, Flay Baby. Go for tackle. Of course I get a critical hit. Like, oh, I'll go for a tackle because it won't kill it. Critical hit. Okay, let's go down this path. Hello, gimme. Grab this great ball. So I believe if we go down all the way down this path, there should be a few trainers we can fight. As well as items to find. The TM Grassy Terrain. I spy an item here, let's go get it. Get a Pokeball. Ooh, free Pokeballs, not bad. And down in the at uh, near the end of this path lies a backpacker. Please tell me the way. Where am I supposed to go from here? I haven't got a clue, I'm just aimlessly wandering around. Backpacker Alex. I had an incinerate name uh, with that name in my in my sword. Let's play. Get intimidated. We're gonna go for special attacks. Great! I flinched. No, thank you. No. No. Oh my god, no! Save a lie. I'll keep you out. Of course you use fake out the waste of turn. to lower my defense, but you're going to be dead in the next turn anyways, so it doesn't matter. Unless you use Shadow Sneak. Was losing oozing you to you supposed to help me find my way? If you get lost and don't know where to go, like me, try asking the Pokemon Center. Let's get Amphi some heals. Got ourselves a potion here. Item there, but I can't jump high enough to go get it. We're pretty better. Has no effects, so it's a sellable. A 
Let's drive all the way back to where we were. Let's drive. We're almost there. I wish we could go faster. Maybe it will be an ability we can get later. Right now we're roughly back here. Let's explore this field here. I spy a Pikachu! Well, five levels higher and it's still faster than me. Can't paralyze Amphi because he's electric type. Go Pokeball! I'm trying to remember, when, which generation made it that way electric type Pokemon couldn't get paralyzed? Was that X and Y? Or was that Sun and Moon? I'm trying to remember which generation was that they made that, they made that change to electric types. When several of these Pokemon gather, the electricity can build and cause lightning storms. What other Pokemon we can find here? I see a Terra Pokemon off in the distance. What will it be? We'll have to get close to it. Ooh, we found the TM Fig Tears. I've caught Bonsly. Go for the Terra Pokemon first. Which is, looks like to be a Terra Meow. What typing will it be? Balloons! We got a flying kitty! So that is the flying Terra type, if I remember correctly. Let's shock it out of the sky. And Paralysize on top of it, too. Nice going, Amphi. Does Static increase the odds of Electro-type moves causing Paralysis? Or does Thundershock just have a really high percentage of, par of causing a Paralysis? Right, he's finally caught up the Dora. It loves things that sparkle. When it sees a shiny object, egg, the gold coin on its head shines too. This is actually not a bad Pokemon to grab because of its terror typing if you want to use it for the um, upcoming gym battle. Oh, also, another thing I don't think I've ever mentioned about terror, um, about wild terror type Pokemon. Wild Terra type Pokemon have some unique traits. Not only do they have a Terra type that is not their normal type, but they also generally have egg moves on them. Some egg moves they use actually correspond to the type they are, while other moves are a bit more of the rarer and harder moves to get on that Pokemon. So, um, yeah, if there's a. Did that side like this jump off that cliff? Uh, so if you are after uh, particular egg moves on on a Pokemon, checking out a wild Terra type Pokemon may not be a bad idea, as um, it might have an egg move on it you that you may want. Good disarming voice. Yeah, I think we'll end the episode shortly, but. Before I end the episode, I want to get to that tower. It's going to be 
you can basically secret make here to explore that area a little early. But I want to get that tower so that way I can have the fast travel point. Which is useful for something that I want a little uh, later on. So what do you want to do? Is that you want to come to near this ledge and you're going to see like a little ramp. Uh, this is so that way you can get up there when you have the ability to move in water. But if you time your jump correctly... Scramble out of the water. If you time your jump correctly, you should be able to land there that's in shallow enough water that you won't drown. And will allow you to visit this area a little bit early than normal. You may be able to find Pokemon like this Pokemon right here that you cannot find on the other side of the river. And of course you break out. Da, da, da. Oh wait, I don't think I can easily get to that tower because... Yeah, I would have to take the long way. Because I don't have the ability to get to that tower, so I'll probably go to that tower at some point. Oh no, I'll... Actually, yeah, I'll probably explore this area in full when we come back around here because of the nearby gym. For fuck's sake, why do you keep breaking out instantly? I don't remember your capture rate being that low. This Pokemon's gonna take up the entirety of the episode, isn't it? And I can't paralyze it because it's part electric, so even if I were to switch the Amphi, we would not be able to do anything about it. One, two, three, gotcha. So yeah, I'll leave that tower alone for the time being. This selfish attention sinking Pokemon stores poison and electricity in two different sacks inside its body. Love that it basically looks like it's wearing a diaper. I absolutely love that. Since it's supposed to be a baby. But anyway. I think we'll end the episode here. In the next episode, we'll return to Colorado. And explore more of that area. So if you enjoyed this episode, do you like the videos? It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below in your thoughts on this episode and share the video so that way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later.